वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल स्टूडेंट्स आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग वेकेशन आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग समर वेकेशन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज एनर्जी एंड पावर रिसोर्सेज सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द इंट्रोडक्टरी पैरा विच इज गिवन ऑन योर बुक नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू अंडरस्टैंड वट इज एनर्जी सो एनर्जी इज डिफाइंड बाई द साइंटिस्ट इज द एबिलिटी टू डू वर्क वट एवर वी डू हियर दैट इज टू राइड बाइसिकल टू राइड कार to uh, cook something on the stove uh, or uh, you know going of astronauts from into the space all these activities from little activity to the larger activity all the activities are the part of energy and all these activities need power resources so on the basis of sources power uh, sources energy is categorized into two types non renewable resources and renewable resources in your book distinction between or you can say the difference between non renewable resource and renewable resource resources are stated in uh, in around 4 to 5 points so i'm going to read it out and i will explain you that now non renewable resources are called conventional resources whereas renewable resources are called non conventional resources non renewable resources cannot be renewed whereas renewable resources can be renewed non renewable resources like coal and petroleum they cause pollution whereas renewable resources like wind energy solar energy hydro energy they do not cause pollution now the fourth point which is very important that is non renewable resources are have been used since ancient times whereas renewable resources are the recent discovery so you have to remember these four to five points Now the next one is non renewable resources are explained in your book but in brief so just i'm going to read it out first non renewable resource that is coal is explained coal is one of the most abundant non renewable resource of this world coal is mostly used for power generation and to supply energy to the industry so do you remember it is used to uh, it is used for power generation you underline there power generation and to supply energy to industries now coal is of four types the four types are given there the first one is peat the second one is lignite the third one is bituminous and the fourth one is anthracite and they are uh, they are written in order uh, you know in, in order of their quality so the first one is the lowest rank of the coal and it has the least why it is the lowest rank of the coal because it has the least concentration of carbon and low heating capacity and that is why it is ranked as the lowest quality now the second one is lignite lignite is brown in color and it is soft coal and that is why because of its texture because of its uh, because of its uh, brown texture it is also called brown coal now the third one is bituminous it is called commercial coal because it is used for commercial purposes and the last one is anthracite which is the highest rank of the coal which is also sold outside to uh, you can say uh, to um, foreign countries and it is hard brittle and black lustrous lustrous means black shiny texture it has so the last one anthracite is the highest rank of the coal now when we talk about the distribution of coal means the countries which produce coal which ha which are the producers of the coal so obviously in that in in that list india also comes china usa australia india europe and south africa are the major producers of coal in this world obviously we the people of uh, jharkhand living in the coal capital of india we know that what is the importance of coal and uh, how it is uh, how it is india is one of the best producers of coal here now the second non renewable resources is petroleum apart from coal petroleum is also a very important energy resource it is used for heating and lighting now it is also not only for not only heating and lighting it is also used in cosmetic products as a raw material and it is used as lubricant in many industries so there are various roles of petroleum but when we talk about the distribution of uh, petroleum so usa saudi arabia kuwait iran iraq russia these are the major areas of petroleum production so these are the major countries of petroleum production 
so students in this video we have learned about difference between non renewable resources and renewable resources the second thing which we have learned about the four types of coals and according to the according to its quality we have ranked it we have labeled it and the third part which we have learned about petroleum that what are the uses of petroleum and which are the countries which uh, which are uh, the major producers of petroleum so along with this video one uh, assignment will also be attached to it in which three questions will be asked to you you remember you have to uh, refer to page number 62 and page number 63 only okay in uh, from page number 62 you have you have been asked a question that is you have to write the difference between non renewable resources and renewable resources so you are going to write minimum four points there the second question is also a lengthy one in which you are asked to write the four types of coal and also little bit you have to describe and the four, third question which is a short one in which you have to write a short note on the uh, on petroleum okay so these three questions you have to complete on your geography copy i will see you in the next video and in the next video i'll be discussing with you about renewable resources which are solar energy uh, wind energy and hydro energy also i will be discussing about the question answers of this chapter till then thank uh, thank you for watching till then take care and uh, stay healthy stay safe uh, share this video among your friends so that each and everybody of your class will get access to this video they will get to see this video watch this video okay till then take care bye bye